All right, there's actually going to be two videos on this Atlas machine because I said way too much stuff in the first video to delete it and start over, so I'm just adding to it. Now, in the last video, I was having trouble with this little knob turning. It was, I, and it was, it wasn't in straight stitch. It was still giving me a little tiny zigzag, so I was getting frustrated. I can't sell a machine that I can't have a perfect straight stitch, so that's why I was like, you know, darn it, what's up? Well, like I said, you got to play with this machine to find out its settings because it's really, really just different. So I figured out to move this, this has something to do also with the width. Don't know what, don't have a manual, but I did find out to move this, you do have to pull it out, like I said, it goes from 0 to 6. I'm thinking that might be your pattern setting. Because it says six down here, and this has six numbers on it. Ha ha! There you go. But I did find out because it wasn't in straight. I had to turn this to the right, and then this turns freely when you pull it out. So turn your zigzag knob to the right, pull this out slightly, and this turns. See, I was trying to turn it without, and it wasn't working. You have to turn this to the right to turn this. But now, since I've done that and I got this set on zero. It is all the way on straight stitch and it's not squiggling anymore. It's doing a perfect straight stitch. Before I was on like number six and it was almost on one, so it was giving me a slight zigzag. I didn't like that. I'm not going to sell you a machine that won't give you a straight stitch because that means it's not working properly. But I found out how to do it. Once again, turn this knob to the right, set this on zero. Look in your little window here on zero. That means straight stitch. And you can tell what width you're on in here as you set it. Now I'm going to turn it. Let's go over to three. See? This has to this 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 has to have something to do with your patterns. It's just straight and simple. You're gonna to have to play with it. I can't say that enough. Okay, so now that we're in straight stitch and I know that I can get it to do a straight stitch. Um here we go. This machine is serviced, just like the rest of our machines always are. It's oiled and ready to go. See, look. Good straight stitch right there. Now, what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to turn this to the right, and then I'm going to go up here to this knob between 2 and 3. Boom. It's locked in a full zigzag. There it is. Locked in a full zigzag. Beautiful. Now, we're going to do a pattern. We're going to do one of the patterns. So, we're going to set this on zero. Start over. Okay, you're loose. You're on straight. You're, you're like starting from scratch. Pull it out. Set it on what you want. Let's go, let's set this on three. Let's set this on, let's say three, three and three. Let's see what happens. Pull it out, boom, you're doing a pattern. You're no longer on zigzag or straight, you're making a decorative pattern because this is pulled out. Here we go. See it moving? It's making a pattern. There's a very fine line between very short and reverse on the length. It, it, it is very, very... Um, it adjusts. That was a diamond. So let's put this on, say, zero. And this has to be pushed in to turn the top knob. Zero and four. Pull it out. Let's see what happens. a different pattern, I think. No, maybe not. It just elongates it. See that moving? It's following the cam stack inside and it's making your pattern. And it's pulled out. See, look. There's your diamond. 
after I pulled it out it started making the, the diamond stitch very very cool machine very um, intricate machine but nothing that you can't figure out by playing with it especially if you've sewn before you're just going to play with it put some scrap fabric in it and go to town make notes it is a cool little machine. Um, it does have a 1.2 amp motor, by the way. I didn't specify that before. And it is all metal. There's no plastic gears. But it's a nice little vintage 50s machine. Um, it's going to require a little effort on your part to figure it out. But she's pretty cool. That is the Atlas.